Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Anime Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it. Today on the table, another Legends model from Justice League, we have The Flash. And I don't know if this is the older original version of build or if it's a newer version, I suspect it's the older version because of the packaging. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, when these first came out they had one style of construction. And then when the Guardians of the Galaxy models came out, they changed the style, and I like the new style better. Supposedly they've gone back and changed some of the older models, if not all the older models, to the newer style. And we won't know which one this is for sure until we open it. The newer style, to me, is a little easier to build and a slightly different finish. But, well, let's quit talking about it. Let's take this over to the table, open it up, and see what's inside. Flush. Let's see what's... What style we have here? The older or newer style? I'm betting the older. Let's see. Whoop. And yes, from the look of the sheet, it looks like the older style of the legs because the legs are separate pieces. The newer style, the legs are all one piece and fold differently. But that's okay. Also, the sheet is more glossy. That's okay. Still a good build. A little bit of a challenge, but not much. And the instructions, just one-sided. I'll go over these rather briefly so we don't spend too much time talking about the instructions. They're, they're, they're not that complicated. Basically, I'm folding it in half so we can fit it in sc on the screen, but on the top half, on the top quarter, top left quarter, you have a line drawing of the completed model, a line drawing of the sheet with the parts numbered so you can see what parts are what when you're looking for them in the assembly flowchart help you easily find them though with those parts for them for a lot of them you can just kind of look and see because it's not that complicated except for maybe the arms and legs then you have some notations about how to fold and twist tabs you know the blue circle when you see that next to a connection point it's indicating a folded tab green triangle means to twist and i think most of these are going to be folded if not all, a few twists. And then we over here we have the fold lines. And those are just pre-scored areas where you can fold apart. Insertion holes and insertion tabs. Tabs go into holes. You have the 360 view. You can either scan this QR code with, say, your phone or something. Or you can just go to this web address right here. And then some little tips to avoid injury. Be careful to show report parts. And down here you start the assembly flowchart with part one and it sort of indicates how to fold it up and end up with this shape. Once you get this part finished, you jump up to this quarter here and continue on following the arrow, shaping the parts, adding in other parts as it indicates, and just going through the assembly flowchart. When you get to the halfway point here, jump down to the bottom quarter, continue on, and then over to this quarter. Once you get to the bottom, you're finished with your model. Let's take a moment to talk about tools. This is a very basic set of tools that I use in pretty much every build. I've got a very standard set of tweezers that I use very frequently. I've got some precision tweezers, a, another flat set here, and a couple of pointed tweezers, one of which I've ground the tip down just a bit to make it a little flatter for grabbing tabs. I have clippers that I use to get the parts off of the sheets quickly and easily. It's better than bending and trying to break them off. And then a couple of different pliers, a flat nose set and a long needle nose pliers set. They come in handy for bending in different situations. We've gone over the directions, talked a little bit about tools. I've got some basic tools to get me started, plus a small dowel rod, which usually helps with folding like shoulder joints. And we've got the metal sheets instructions and the ready. Let's put this together. The instructions show to fold up the back section of the arm after the sides, but that does not make sense to me. I folded up the back section first so that when I folded up the sides, the slots can easily slide right over the tabs.
Don't worry too much about getting the exact shape of the legs correct the first try. You can make adjustments as you are attaching them to the other parts of the body. Though I would suggest trying to get that first bend on the side of the foot at a right angle. I am lightly twisting some of these tabs just to hold unstable parts in place while I get more of the tabs connected. I will come back later and untwist these tabs and fold them over. This foot is a little off center. I'm trying to push things over just a little. I'm not going to shape this as much as indicated in the directions. I usually end up having to bend things around out of shape a bit as I'm getting the back section on. I do want to bend the bottom of the feet over just a touch so they will nicely fit into place. 
It's such a short, subtle bend, it's hard to achieve after everything is connected. The Flash Legends model is a bit unique in that he has symbols on the side of his head. I neglected to bend up the tabs on the upper body so they would line up. Now it's just a matter of working my way down the back, getting the tabs in place one at a time and securing them.
Now that everything is on, time to go around and secure tabs and untwist and fold over any surface tabs that I've previously twisted. And I present to you, Flash, all finished and done. Another Legends model. It's the old style. If you were following along with this video, and the model, Flash model that you bought, doesn't assemble the same way as mine, you may have one of the newer versions where it's been redesigned, if that's the case. As of this time, I don't currently have the newer version available. But you can check out one of the Guardians builds, Guardians of the Galaxy Legends models. They are a newer design and that may help you to understand how that newer design comes together if yours differs from that one. If yours is just like mine, this is a really cool model. I enjoyed building it. He comes together very much like many of the other older Legends models with the exception of Hulk. Uh, the arm a little bit tricky because of the angle but not too bad i've built several other models where the arm or fist or hand was up the big difference between this one and the other legends models is the ear pieces and most of them do have some unique something cape or something in their hand or, or hat or hair piece that makes them a little bit unique now, this build took about 35 minutes to complete, so not terribly long, about average for the Legends models and for the older style that almost seems a little bit fast. A lot of times they do take about 35 minutes for the plain ones, but he had the earpieces, which, you know, added a couple minutes here and there, but not too bad. So it's about, about average for the older design. Now, the big difference, aside from the redesign of the way the assembly comes together, or the way it's assembled, between the old design and the new design, the newer designs are a little bit more of a semi-gloss finish, which I think looks a little bit better. I think probably with Flash it would look a little bit better with the semi-gloss finish, but he doesn't look bad in costume. He looks he looks all right. I'm starting to really enjoy all of these Legends models. This completes the DC collection as it stands right now for me. So all the ones that I build from this point on are going to be Marvel. Which, you know, there's no particular rhyme or reason why I did it that way. It just kind of worked out to some degree based on availability and, and how they came into my position and just how they ended up lined up. But anyway, enjoy these models. He'll look great with the rest of them. They are fairly simple to build. Just a little bit of a challenge involved. But good starter, model, good starter models. Good models to begin with. They're not only super easy scale, but definitely on the easy scale it will challenge you a little bit but not that much there's really nothing at this point that i can say about the flash model that i haven't already said about the other legends model i do like them i do enjoy them i do like that they are on the easier scale and good starter kits to build with so if you're just getting into the metal earth if you like little figurines this is a great place to start to get some experience working with these models working with the metal and understanding how it comes together before you move on to more advanced models and you can build yourself a nice little, nice little set of collectible figurines. So I'll leave it at that. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you enjoy these build videos, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. You can check out a link in the description down below or at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.